on the road again. And I got company this time. <laughs> and back here too. It's both dogs. Yep. We are on highway number six. Um, you are okay. The, dog, the dog's about to throw up. Are you all right, Angel? You all right? Dog's just as excited as, as we are, right? That's what's going on. Seven days. Oh, no, eight, eight days. days. Eight days. Um, we're going to a whole bunch of uh, Ontario provincial parks uh, along the uh, Lake Erie area. And uh, day one, night one, we are going to Turkey Point. Is it Turkey Point? Yes. Turkey Point, yes. But first, we have uh, some paddling to do. Uh, the Big Creek. We're going to paddle the Big Creek because I like the Big Creek. So there. This is a, a, a road trip, we're calling it. A camping road trip to southwestern Ontario. Right. Well, we're now entering Big Creek National Wildlife Area uh, before Big Creek goes out into uh, Lake Erie by Long Point and just widens out to a whole bunch of patchy labyrinths, labyrinths? <laughs> of, of channels and marsh and trees and willows and birds. It's just a labyrinth, a labyrinth of wilderness in southwestern Ontario. I just like saying the word labyrinth. Labyrinth. I'm saying it wrong? Labyrinth? How do you say it? Labyrinth. Labyrinth? Labyrinth. Okay, we're just driving the, the side road to Long... No, not Long Point. <laughs> Selkirk. Yes? Turkey Point. Turkey Point. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey Point. Those are all coming later. Yeah, they're all around here. Uh, but man, that, this is such a scenic drive. Uh, you, there's a whole bunch of wineries along here, but you can actually look out. Uh, it's kind of like a marshy bits of Lake Erie, right? Mm -hmm. Off in the distance, yeah, yeah. The whole shoreline. Yeah, and really amazing woodlots. Uh, Carolina, Canada, big trees. Yeah, look at this. Oh, Kevin, I don't know why you go to southwestern Ontario. It's all flat. Look at it. It's so, so flat it is. <laughs> yeah, there's no trees at all, Kevin. I don't know why you go there. <laughs> Oh really? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Turkey Point. There he is. Hey. Well, we're gonna go set up camp at uh, Turkey Point, <laughs> but first lunch. In 500 meters, turn right onto Old Hill Road. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> I'm calling her Brenda. I'm not sure if her real name is Brenda, but I'm calling her Brenda. Thank you. We're going to get some um, the first of many uh, perch lunches. L Lake Erie perch. Take the next right onto Old Hill Road. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, here? Did I just pass it? Christine! Christine! <laughs> here you go! Yay! Thank you! <laughs> How does it look? Let's see. Oh 
my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we should just go one. No. <laughs> <laughs> That is so good. Mm. Oh I think we're gonna have Lake Erie perch every single day. Life's a beach, Christine. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Christine, is it possible for you to to, uh, to calm yourself? We, we just got to camp. We cracked up open a cold one. <laughs> I don't know what... What are you referring to, Kevin? You can't sit still. I'm not finished with chores yet. That isn't how I like it yet. It's I, put up, right? Yes. But here's the thing. You get everything ready before you sit. <laughs> Once I sit down, I don't like to get up again. <laughs> it's raining gypsy moth poop. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's like a sprinkle. Okay. okay. That's not what you said five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm staying positive. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say that it's probably good to be under a tarp right now. If you're under a lot of the trees. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I don't think it's as bad here as I know it has been in some places in Ontario this year. No. No. I, not at all, actually. Yeah. But I've actually never been anywhere where I've heard that. Like, people say it sounds like it's raining. It, it does sound like it's yeah. raining. Yeah. It's strange. It is an issue. It's a cyclical thing. Uh, about every seven years, I think, um, they get really bad. And they're called gypsy moths because they're gypsies. They actually... Uh, they move like a gypsy. They they go from campground to campground uh, on people's gear and stuff like that. And yeah, they crawl up the tree and start eating away at the, the, the leaves. If it's a deciduous tree, it, it could probably survive it because uh, it loses energy because of it. But then, um, uh, but then it can regrow. But if it gets onto a, a conifer, like a ne needle bearing, and eats the needles, well, needles do grow on the edge, uh, the tip of a of a tree but not the whole other tree so they don't grow back so it can decimate a, a, a carnivorous tree i don't see that happening here so there's a, there's a few and they're they're pooping on us and uh we're dealing with it we got the tarp up it's a beautiful day i actually really like this park i was here as a kid and we'd camp here and we'd all bug dad to take us down to the beach and we'd spend the my three sisters and i would spend the, the whole day at the beach well i would go trout fishing with my dad sometimes but um until i became a teenager then i wanted to go down to the beach because you know there was girls down there this park is really nice and quiet and and private sites big time like yeah, there's like nothing yeah look all around us there's like nothing's around us mm -hmm. so yeah uh, i think basically a lot of people come here just to camp here and then go to the beach but um we're just chilling under the tarp mm -hmm. listen to the we're gonna go on a hike we are gonna go on a hike yes yes what's the yes. name of it it's a name for it. um the oak savannah hike oak savannah yeah it's a area where the park conducted prescribed burns to recover an oak savanna forest. Okay. So we're going to walk that. Yeah, and gypsy moss, they don't eat oak leaves, so don't, we don't have to worry about it. Perfect. I'll just have my hat on anyway. Okay. You know what's funny is they're actually like a really beautiful looking caterpillar. Come on. What is that on my lens? Oh, it's a bug. <laughs> oh, it's a spider. Go away, spider. Oh. How did you put a web across my entire lens? So this around me, there is it, it, the oak stand at Turkey Point. 
And what they've done, uh, they've gone in here and burned, um, do a prescribed burn, so it burns all the lower shrubbery and opens up the area for more sunlight to help the oak out. So you've got some big oak, some young oak, some scarred uh, landscape, and uh, it works. And they do the same thing up north. Um, they burn out the balsam uh, with a hot fire, prescribed hot, uh, wildfire. And then the old growth pine don't burn down because they got a really thick bark and they can withstand that. And then that opens up um, the area for it. So you look at the area, it, it really did work. They opened it up. I know, I, I think they're doing the same thing in the pine river. I have done that in the pine uh, in the past too. Beautiful trees. Poison ivy though. So know how to identify your poison ivy. Okay, and don't let your dog walk in it because then you're going to go back to camp and pet the dog. It's probably how you're going to get it. Okay, so Lisa three, let it be. Well, Christine has assigned me to dinner while she's reading her book, and uh, it's a good idea. So she brought these uh, cups that have a closed-in lid. So she's got a wine cup, and I've got my Scotch cup, and uh, with ice. Oh, so that's nice. And um, uh, it's a it's a godsend because. Um, yeah, we had that issue with the, the, the gypsy uh, moth caterpillars. So none can go in my drink and none of their poop can go in my drink because I just go like this and put it down. You see, when you're out in the wilderness and you're camping, you, you deal with these issues. And that's one way you can deal by protecting your scotch or your wine is putting a cover over it so the caterpillars don't poop in it. What are we having tonight? Uh, craft dinner with some pepperoni sticks in it. Not very exciting, but we had an amazing lunch of, uh, of perch. And we're like, should we eat? We should eat something. Um, but yeah, we're just doing craft dinner, which is fine by me. Oh, my scotch! See, I had a lid on it. <laughs> Not only is it good for caterpillars dropping from the sky, it's good when you don't know how to put a stove together yet, because you never used it. Right, all right. <laughs> don't worry, Christine. Dinner will be done soon. <laughs> you can't hear a professional camera. I know that you are having a hard perfect, perfect. time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you